We are following up on a brutal murder on Friday night in Pueblo, which police say is another domestic violence related crime. 38 year old Renee Dominguez was shot to death inside a Dollar General store. Tonight, her friends say the legal system failed to protect her when she was alive. News 5's Natalie Chuck sat down with him tonight while they continue mourning her death. She is joining us live tonight. Natalie. Diane, we are outside of the Dollar General where Dominguez was murdered and out here in front of the front door, you can see a memorial is still growing here to remember her, but her co-workers believe that her life could have been spared if a judge had listened to her when Dominguez first filed for a permanent restraining order against her ex-boyfriend. She has said for the last month at least, I'm going to die. He's going to kill me. The bullet hole and boarded up door at Dollar General. A stark reminder that Renee Dominguez had good reason to fear for her life. I texted her and I said, Renee, where are you? You need to call me. And she didn't answer. So then I tried to call her. She didn't answer. And then got on Facebook and saw the report. I knew instantly it was her. She never would not answer me. Dominguez was shot and killed inside Dollar General. Pueblo police say the prime suspect later committed suicide in El Paso County. The suspect her friends and family believe was her ex-boyfriend, who they say had been terrorizing Dominguez. His name has not been confirmed by police yet. She took off her clothes and showed me her body and it was bruised. And I said, you can't, this is not normal. You can't let him do this. And that's when we begged her to get the restraining order. But court documents show her ex-boyfriend violated protection orders multiple times. Dominguez had also filed for a permanent restraining order which had been postponed by Judge Roberto Silva multiple times. Their next hearing was scheduled for February 7th. I just really want everybody to know that we vote our judges in and Judge Silva needs to be voted out. Dominguez, a registered medical assistant, worked for the same clinic as Nicole Stevenson, who died in 2020 after she was beaten by her ex-boyfriend, sparking protests across Pueblo. They should be able to say, hey, this one's serious. This one is... This one is really threatening her. We need to do more. Dominguez leaves behind a son and mother. I personally feel a relief for him being gone just because the way the system is. Mm -hmm. Her mom and her son are not going to have to endure the courts. And a group of women longing for change. That girl was the light. She was the light in the room. We need help and we just want answers. I called Judge Silva's office multiple times to see if they would comment, but I did not get a response just yet. The police believe they will be able to confirm the suspect's identity very soon. On Sunday, a balloon release will be held in honor of Dominguez. We will have that information for you on our website. And if you are suffering from domestic violence, there is help. We will also have a list of resources for you on KOEA.com. Reporting in Pueblo, Natalie Chuck, News 5. Natalie, thank you. Just another tragic story.